great morning. Can't clap too loud because we're actually in a restaurant. Kind of like a breakfast spot. We decided to take our office out today. This is actually the spot that we came to when we were in Miami uh, last year with a team promotion. So it's cool to be back here. So excited for you guys today. Welcome to Triple M. We're going live and uh, we're going to be talking about a guy that's taking Herbalife's business model, which is a few other companies' business model, which is called Network Marketing. His name is Eric Ward. He's a professional. He's been doing it over 15 years. And uh, he's like on the board of the DSA, which is the Direct Selling Association, which is the governing body of Network Marketing. Trust me, it's very official. And uh, not only that, he's written a book called GoPro, which is a bestseller. Uh, he's worked with people like Tony Robbins and things like that. And what I love about him is he's really going to show you guys how this business model of network marketing where the investment is low, but you can build it how you want, where you can build your skill set, where you can learn tools and trainings without having to pay thousands of dollars for school loans. All these things that network marketing is so different, he's going to show you and train you on the mindset behind being an entrepreneur, being a business owner. And whether you're in herbal life or not, as a coach or as a, as a client, whether you have a job or whether you're an entrepreneur, we're all the CEO of us. You know, you pay your bills every month. You direct your family. You set your budget for what comes in and goes out. You direct your learning and what you're going to do as a career path. That's all CEO stuff. Now, whether you're a CEO of one or CEO of many, is all up to you. But he's going to give us the tools for that CEO mindset. So I'm super excited. Make sure you put your client threads and your team threads, every thread on Facebook, IG, Snapchat, whatever you got. Black Planet, you're still on there. Everything that Triple M is live, let's get these nuggets. And make sure to take your notes because we're going to get some live shares at the end. Without further ado, Eric Warre, top 10 rules for success. Let's get it. Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear good once I put the video in. After the summer break, then I'm going to do it. After the holidays, then I'm going to make it happen. Now, here's the thing. People do a lot of talking, and one side of proclaiming what you're going to do is very good. Telling the world what you're about to do. So, telling them something that you haven't done yet. That's a very healthy thing because it will hold you accountable to those statements. But don't get stuck there. Don't stay in tomorrow. You've got to, at some point, move from tomorrow to right now. Move from the action that you're going to do on Monday to right now. Not even today, because that gives you all the time until the end of the day. You've got to move your clock. When you think about, here's one thing I need to do. I need to schedule more appointments. I'm going to do that right now. Right now, the first available moment I have to do it, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to start right now. I'm going to get moving right now. Because a lot of you are listening to this stuff, and that's great. Listening is great. Understanding is even better. Action is even better than understanding. You can have the most knowledgeable person in the world, but if they keep saying tomorrow, 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 they're never going to get the results that they're looking for. So guess where most of the learning and most of the real understanding comes from? In the doing. A lot of people think that they understand network marketing and they can never understand what it is that you do every day because they've never done it. You understand really on a cellular level when you do it. And if you continue with action, you'll start to get results from those actions. Because it's not just in the doing once, it's the doing and then refining, doing again and then refining. Work getting better every single day. Understanding that you can't look good and get better at the same time. Being willing to be uncomfortable, being willing to get outside of your comfort zone, being willing to go from a tomorrow person to a right now person. My future plan is about this thick, typed. It's usually about four pages or so, and it includes everything. And today, more than ever, what you find with top leaders, what you find with successful people, is their, their forward thinking, their future thinking, and that, that future starts to pull them towards those objectives. 
So I set my goals pretty high, and I've set my calendar far in advance. I'm planning. I still have some spontaneity, room for spontaneity, but more and more as the, the, the demands on my time are, are growing exponentially, I have to plan. And, and what I've, I've done this for, gosh, 25 years, to look back and look forward. Look back, take inventory, be honest, and look forward and map it out. So I want you to think about short-term, mid-term, long-term goals for you personally and for your team. Create an environment that supports your goals, your dreams. What do I mean by that? Make sure the people around you are pushing you in the direction of your dreams, not patting you on the back for doing less than you're capable, but pushing you to do more. Make sure that things you're feeding your mind are pushing you in the direction of your dreams. Make sure that you're protecting your mind from things that would distract you from your dreams. It's your job, it's your job to create a bubble, to create an environment, to create this ecosystem that will support your goals. Because if, if you're surrounded by people that are constantly distracting you, it's gonna be very difficult for you to grow a network marketing business. If you're surrounded by people who are patting you on the back for doing one-tenth of what you're capable of instead of pushing you and challenging you and getting in your face, then there's only so far you can go. If you're constantly feeding your mind and allowing your mind to be infected by negative, pessimistic, compromising thoughts, then you can guess what your results are gonna be. So guess whose job? It's not, you're, you're not trying to look for an environment that will support you. you. Your job is to create an environment that will support you. Create this community around you. Create the right friendships, the right mentoring, the right coaching, the right ideas, the right encouragement, the right challenge for you to be able to go where you need to go. You understand what I'm saying? So it's your job to hold yourself accountable and create systems to hold yourself accountable to a higher standard. Your dreams are worth it, I promise. If you're frustrated and you don't know why you can't take action, this is the big reason why. You can't seem to get things going, this is why. So one, determine those dreams, get them locked solid. Two, hold yourself accountable towards them. And three, create a system around you of people and influences around you that will challenge you, that will push you, that will force you sometimes to do the things necessary to make your dreams a reality. I've had to evolve so many times. I've had to change and grow so many times. There's been times when I made such huge mistakes in my network marketing career. Damaged relationships, done things that I wish I could go back and change, but I couldn't. So I could either live there or I could use that information to grow and become better. See, I've been involved for 25 years and I promise you, every year that you, that we're engaged, we're working together, every year you're gonna see me get a little bit better and a little bit better. And most of the time I'm not gonna hit my goals, but then I'm gonna get a little bit better and a little bit better and compound it over time you'll see noticeable results. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a different person than I was five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, certainly 25 years ago, 18 jobs, you know, barely surviving. So give yourself some grace. Understand that nothing is ever finished while you're still alive. But here's what I believe is the most powerful force, one of the most powerful forces on earth, and that is your imagination. What you can imagine now, most people misuse their imagination. In other words, they think about what bad things could happen. They let their imagination go wild to the negative side, how they could get hurt, how they could get rejected, what could, you know, all, all the terrible things that could happen. Um, but the most successful people, um, and, and I will tell you, I've used this in my life for my whole life, and it's, well, my whole adult career at least, and it's worked unbelievable is using your imagination for good, using it for growth. Now, here's what I, what, I, what I mean by that. If you pick a goal, whatever it is, let's say you want to meet someone. Let's say you want to achieve a rank. Let's say you want to get to an income goal. Let's say you want to have a certain number of people in your group at the next company event, whatever it is, okay? 
I want you to clearly imagine it. Get it so clear in your mind that it's like you're living it in reality. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? As clear as you can get it. And when you're talking about what the, what this this uh, this picture in your mind, it's good to put it in writing, and it's good to make it as as detailed as you possibly can. How do you feel now that you've achieved that goal? How many lives are you impacting now that you've accomplished that objective? Whatever it is, no, doesn't matter what it is. But the key is detail. The key is specifics. The key is a clear crystal clear mental picture so get it clear and then just go about your life but his here's what what ends up happening and it's happened to me so many times you can't even imagine uh, as soon as I get it clearly in my mind it's not long before that thing becomes a reality now it's not a magic trick okay you can't just sit at home and imagine a Lamborghini and it pulls up into the driveway and somebody gives you the keys it's not a magic trick like that. Um, here's why I believe it works. Your subconscious brain is working all the time, no matter what you're doing. It's working, it's, 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 it's helping you guide and, and shift and make different decisions. But if you get a clear picture in your mind, I believe you unlock the power of your subconscious mind. And when you unlock the power of your subconscious mind, it starts to grind and grind and grind and grind to make the picture that you have in your imagination a reality. And there starts to be thousands of what I like to call micro decisions that start to happen. Little left turn, right turn, little course corrections, thousands of them that are happening all the time. While you sleep, your subconscious brain is, is working to help you guide you towards that objective. If you're mowing the lawn, if you're doing the laundry, yet subconscious mind is working. If your imagination is strong enough and clear enough, your subconscious mind is working and working and grinding and grinding and moving. It's not like you're attracting those things to you. You're attracting yourself to those things because your subconscious mind is working for you. It's like a slave for you, working and grinding and working and grinding and working and grinding to help you get to your objective thousands and thousands of little decisions you didn't even know why you made them they were made because one you had a clear picture in your mind two your subconscious brain went to work without you even realizing it and three step by step inch by inch you moved closer to your objective until you attained it so the picture that you have in your mind is incredibly important because guess what if you have a negative picture in your mind a negative Picture in your imagination, your subconscious mind is going to go to work to make that a re reality too. Thousands of little micro decisions to guide you towards the negative. So who wants to live with that? Who wants to put your subconscious mind to work as your employee to work for you and work against you? Why would you want to do that? So get a clear picture of your goals, of your objectives, of your vision of of anything you want to accomplish, anyone that you want to meet, anything that you want to do. I've envisioned getting on a stage that I wanted to, to speak on. I've, en I've envisioned uh, having thousands of people in the room. I've envisioned relationships with top of my heroes in personal development, with Jim Rohns and the Tony Robbins and the Richard Bransons and all the different people. I've imagined those relationships long before they became a reality. And then my subconscious mind went to work and it ground it, it, it was grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding thousands of decisions until it became a reality awesome great stuff i'm trying to make it so our computer doesn't crash lesson learned always bring your charger i thought it would last longer so let's get a few uh takeaways and then hopefully we don't die out before then but keep it up so i'm gonna give you my top takeaways number one was uh, be the kind of person that's a right now person. My dad, when I was a kid, I'd be like, yo, I'm going to take out the trash tomorrow. He'd be like, yo, what's up with this trash, man? You want, you want, this is your chores. I'd be like, tomorrow. He'd always pull me up. He'd be like, never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. Can you do it today? I said, yeah, I can do it today. He said, then don't put it off. And that would always stick with me when it was time to make decisions, when it was time to get into action, because tomorrow there's no power in it. 
inside of action. Action tomorrow gets you no results today. Action today always gets you results. So be a right now kind of person. Tony Robbins always talks about never leaving the scene of a decision without making some action. You've got a goal, if you've got a dream, if you've got some things you want to achieve, as soon as it manifests inside of your mind and you made a decision, you got to take at least one step towards it in that second. Sign up for the seminar. Take on, buy the book. Message the person. Reach out and set their appointment. Any kind of action. Never put off to tomorrow what you can do today. That's always one of the most powerful. And then uh, I love this one. You can't look good and get better. He talked about action is better than understanding. And I'll tell you guys, this is so true. In school, I wasn't the smartest. I wasn't the top of the class, probably because I didn't really, like, I was, like, kind of a knucklehead sometimes. I was, like, whatever else is going on, I'm into that. Not that I was a bad kid. It's just I was just wanted to be good enough to get a B or A and nothing more. I wasn't trying to be 100%. But what I learned was that I would look around at some of the high A students and all the top people on the test, and I started to notice that when we got into our career or when we got into the workplace or when we got into life success, however you measure it, it didn't always correlate. The top person in the class wasn't always the best at whatever we were in class for. Because there's so many what I call intangibles. Intangibles are the experience. Intangibles are the people skills. Intangibles are the mindset. Intangibles are the patience. Intangibles are the understanding that a book can't give you, that only going through it can give you. And I know so many people are like, yo, I want to wait till I have my perfect result to, to share as a coach or distributor. I want to wait until I have my perfect result to share about my health result, to post a picture, to share and tell people what I'm up to. And I tell them, you guys, the journey is the result. The journey is the result. When I was starting on my challenge program with Herbalife, when I first started, I posted a before picture before I even had an after picture. My first before picture I posted because I said, yo, I'm starting this. I want you guys to hold me accountable. Anybody want to join me? I got people wanting to start just from that. But the biggest thing I got was I got the experience of saying, I'm going to do something. Now I got to do it. I couldn't back out. And there were so many things that I learned from action that books that a, that a talk can't teach you. You know, there's things I've learned in, inside of body posture, inside of how people react, inside of experiences when you do this or do that, that only the experience could have taught me because going through it, even the book said something that the experience gave me. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you want the best understanding, of course you study, of course you get knowledge, of course you do research, but of course you do action. Of course. So those are my top ones. Rocks, what you got for us? I mean, you should have done the closing, dude. <laughs> Nuggets, bro. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I definitely love the first one, the be right now uh, kind of person. So I already touched on that, so I'm not going to touch on it. Um, really, the one that I really love, too, is a create your environment. And he talked about how you have to protect your mind and you have to start creating the perfect kind of circumstances and environment in order to be able to really achieve your goals and your dreams. You know, so for instance, when I first got started with Herbalife, like I remember the people that I was around with weren't necessarily into doing what I was doing. They still wanted to turn up. They still wanted to go out and there's nothing wrong with any of that. However, for me, I knew that if I was going to go that way, I knew that it was only going to keep pulling me further and further away from my goals and my dreams. And so that's like one of the biggest things for me that's ever stood out in, inside of like whatever it is that you want to do in your life. And you're going to have those people, but it's up to you to create, again, the environment. It's up to you. So for instance, inside of Herbalife, it's up to you to show up to the events. It's up to you to create the relationships with people who are going towards the, the, the same direction of like your goals and your dreams and if you keep surrounding yourself with the other people who are not doing that who are just living like in the I'm just gonna do 
this day and I'm going to just go into next week and they don't really have a clear understanding of where they want to go, then chances are you're going to quit. Chances are you're going to end up where they are. And chances are you're going to look back on your life regretting not going towards it towards the direction of what you really wanted to do because you didn't create the environment that was going to help you inside of your growth. So I really love that one. And then the last one, I really loved how we talked about evolving. He's like, I may not be the best, but every single year, he's like, yes, I failed. Yes, I like, uh, like, what's that word? Like, uh, damaged relationships. And I've done things that, like, didn't necessarily help me. However, if there's one thing that I can say is that I've gotten, like, better every single year. He's like, I'm not the same person I was a year ago, three years ago, and five years ago. And inside of anything that you want to do in your life, whether it's herbal life or whether it's something else, if you are not committed to getting better, then how could you ever master the craft that you're trying to master? And that's one of the biggest things, too, that I tell people. Like, there's so many people, for instance, with clients that I work with, with distributors who show up when they want, who show up when it's convenient. And the truth of the, like, of the matter is it's not always going to be like the cards aren't always going to be inside of your favor. You're not always going to want to show up life is going to happen and if you only show up when you feel like it and if you only do things when you like want to then guess what you're not going to be successful inside of what you want because you're not evolving you're only doing things when it's convenient and if you do that then again you're not you're never going to create what you want for your life so i think that's super crucial is evolving and growing through absolutely everything that you go through in life um that's like one of the biggest things for me nice awesome great nuggets uh let's get a few shares live give me a thumbs up or a smile if you want to share live give me a thumbs up or a smile if you're excited to share takeaway nugget hopefully our service isn't too bad we're on the hot spot give me a nugget thumbs up anna what you got for us Hey guys uh, i laugh because you guys are in sweatshirts but it's like snowing here so um but Coach Anna here from Wisconsin, um, I really liked the uh, use your imagination. Um, it's definitely a part of growth. And uh, a lot of people, I, I'm a huge believer in like the universe. So like everything happens for a reason. And if you put it out to the universe, like the universe will um, send it your way. So if you're going to put out negativity or think like something bad is going to happen, um, the universe will probably send you signs that something bad is going to happen but if you um put out you know your crystal clear vision of what you truly want for your life and um just kind of work towards it every day and put out the positive things um the universe will reward you with um positive uh things to get you there um so definitely being crystal clear on what you truly want for your life and then um just kind of trusting your gut and always uh moving forward uh to achieve that love that epic what you put out you get back i feel like we learned in uh science class that opposites attract but in your life it's the same you attract to you so great stuff let's get one more share give me a thumbs up or smile if you're excited to share one takeaway one nugget that you got Excited to get one more nugget. What you got? Marv, what you got? Give me a nugget. What up, what up, guys? Uh, Marv, today. Um, happy, happy Monday. One of my biggest takeaways was, uh, the, Roxy kind of touched on it, was surround, surround yourself around people who are going are gonna to be successful and go after the things you want to go after. Um, T.D. Jakes always talks about it, too. He says, uh, run around with nine broke people, you'll be the tenth. So seriously, just uh, watch your surroundings and who you spend your time with, because sometimes the people that you might be hanging around with, one, might not have the same goals and dreams as you, and two, might not even be looking at the vision the way you look at it, so they'll just probably be making fun of you or something, and it might not even be, um, it can be really discouraging. So just remember who you hang out with and who you're a part of. Most definitely, your environment. You guys gotta think, you could put the best seed and, you know, this is like a top-notch seed, one that is like the best 
genetics, one that's going to grow the most beautiful flower. But if you put it on rock where there's no kind of soil, what is it going to grow? Nothing. You can take, you know, the best fertilizer. You can take all that stuff, but if it has no water, all this stuff matters, you guys. You can be the most focused. You can be the most committed. You can be the most hungry. You can be the most talented. But if your environment, the things that that put into you aren't evolving you, you're only going to get so far. But on the opposite of that, put a moderate seed, put moderate soil, but put excellent combination of the water, the nutrients, the sunlight. You could probably get more because your your environment will pull you up or bring you down no matter how strong, no matter how committed you are. So get into an environment. And that usually is going to take intentionality. You're going to have to go look for it. It might not be the, the friends you grew up with. It might not be on the block you grew up with. It not, might, might not be the coworkers that are on your floor. It might not be the people that it's easiest to high five and take a picture with. It might not be. You might have to go find them. So thanks, you guys, so much. I know we had a little technical issue. We've got to find a better place to do it. We were trying to hotspot for the work last time. But let's get it. Share a nugget on your social media for Triple M. Thanks for tuning in. And let's get to work. I'm going to unmute everybody. Give us some energy where you at. Woo! Let's do it.